Oh. Hi, welcome to another episode of Beer 30. I'm Greg. Hey, I'm Josh. Uh, today we have one from the XL Brewing Company over in Breeze, Illinois. That's another uh, local St. Louis area brewery. Um, bre- the uh, XL Bottling Company has been making soda actually since 1936. Yeah. And uh, they just started um, into the, I guess, venturing into the craft beer world uh, in 2012. So. Just a couple of years now. How far, I mean, I wonder how far their reach is with their soda. I mean, I I know when I've, when I've only, Ski, I've heard about that. It's kind of like a Mountain Dew. Um, you can find that over across in Illinois. I don't know. Can, oh, wait, no. You were able to find it in the St. Louis area recently, too. Ski can be found at, at UGAS, I believe, in the yeah. St. Louis area. But uh, that's their most popular, I'd say, soda. I think they mainly have small distribution um, area to probably the, you know, right around the Illinois area and maybe in parts of uh, St. Louis area. But, but you found this beer um, over here in the... Yeah, uh, Schnooks on Manchester, uh, grocery store, uh, local grocery store, they always have a good selection. This one's Shoal Creek Wheat. Uh, Supposedly all the, 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 they make this from water taken from the local Shoal Creek. Uh, German style Hefeweizen, giving a crisp beer with a balance of sweet malt. Hazy gold beer supports an off-white, highly beaded whipped cream foamy head um let's see did they say what the uh alcohol is on this Can you see that anywhere i thought it was 5.5 or something i don't see on the box here i don't know really nice box here with a really nice emblem um they've got on here shoal creek wheat um it's got a nice bridge. I'm assuming that's look, going over the shoulder. Look shore. at that pour, man. Wow. That's beautiful. It's a lot of head. But, looks beautiful. Very clean, crisp looking. It's got the, uh, you know, it's very light, light amber color. More, uh, more like a, uh, you know, one of the, uh, I guess like a Budweiser, Bud Light type look to it. I, See how it tastes. So here. it's supposed to be a hefeweizen. Um, yeah, that's a really nice color. They go through the brewing pr- process of Rhein Heidskabut, which is the same uh, technique that uh, Kraftig beer, Kraftig, really? they use that too. Hmm. Um, look it up on Wikipedia. There's an interesting <laughs> article. I, I I don't really know the ins and outs of it uh, offhand, but there you go. Let's, uh, what do you think about the aroma, Greg? I mean, it's more of a sweet, yeah. clean smell. I don't really pick up a whole lot. No, you don't pick up a lot. I guess if it's wheat, it's more like a wheat field, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's give it a try. Get mostly head here. It, it definitely has that hep of bison taste to it. Um, very. It's got a. It does have a sweetness to it. I do. I do pick up a. You know, a sweetness um, almost in the aftertaste. It's one of the. Yeah, it's. Uh, very very light it's got a sweet taste um, uh, I mean I've had wheat beers in the past and mm-hmm. this doesn't it's not I don't know the, this is much lighter wheat flavor than I've had in the past it's got a little bit of a um, I mean it's 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 smooth, but yet it's uh, it's got that crispness to it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's not bad. You know, I'd say it's uh, 
It's got a little bit of a, of a light aftertaste of almost like a sweetness that comes back after you've yeah. swallowed. It, this is definitely one for uh, if you're into drinking light beers and stuff, this is an easy accessible beer for anyone who's kind of new to drinking craft beer. Uh, this very light, very refreshing. Yeah. Um, it's, for what it's worth. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, yeah, I don't know what more to say about it. I mean, it's it's got a nice, you know, like you said, it's a nice clean finish to it. Um, um, it's pretty, pretty smooth. Um, got a little bit of a hint of sweetness to it, so it's not bad at all. For me, it um, it brings like uh, this style beer. Um, I'm not the biggest fan, but these. It's definitely like a session type beer, yeah. where you you know a few of these and you're fine to go. Um, give it about a B minus. That's me. exactly what I was gonna go for too. Was a B minus. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's not bad. I mean, this is the first. Uh, this is our first look at this at this beer XL. and or this company. I'm sorry, and um, you know it. it I'm. I'm I guess I could say I'm. Uh, hey, I'm I would impressed. choose. Hey, I would, if, I would recommend it. I guess if you had a choice between uh, one of your major ones and these, <laughs> yeah, I would definitely probably go with this. Go in with one of these. So, yeah. anyway, that's it. See you guys. Bye.